Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show, episode 810. I am your host, Matrix Lawyer 212, and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? So what do we have, Chris? Well, um, this, this is a little bit old, uh, and there's going to be some spoilers for Star Wars Rebels in here. Okay. Um, as long as you don't mind, we talk about this. That's um, fine. Uh, I wanted to talk about it a little while ago, but we got sidetracked with other things. Um, but the, the most recent episode of Rebels was on Saturday. Okay. And episode, I believe it was called Holocrons of Fate. And of course, um, for those of you who don't know, Holocrons in the Star Wars universe are devices that Jedi and Sith use to record history and uh, teachings and whatnot. And they're very important to the Star Wars universe. And um, there are two obviously specific types that we know of that there's the Jedi ones, which are kind of like blue cubes. And there's the Sith ones, which are like red pyramids. Okay. So at the end of last season, Ezra got a Sith holocron. And it's said that no Jedi can open a Sith holocron. Only a dark side user can open a Sith holocron. And it's the same thing with a, um, a Jedi holocron. Sith can't open Jedi holocrons. Okay. Okay. At the end of last season, Ezra opened a Sith holocron. Oh, shit. Okay. And he's been learning from it. And he's become a lot more powerful than he was last season. He's got a new lightsaber. Um, his design is a bit different. He's using more force powers. And he's, he's acting a bit like Anakin used to in like Clone Wars and stuff. Very reckless. Very, oh, I can handle all this stuff and nothing will happen to me. Um, and that kind of thing. So the big thing that happened in this episode was Darth Maul returned and his new name is officially Maul. He's not Darth Maul anymore. He's just Maul. Um, and he knows that Ezra has a holocron, a Sith holocron. So in the episode, Maul kidnaps the crew of the ghost, everybody except Ezra and Kanan who are off doing something else. And he finds the, hol- the Jedi holocron, that Kanan has. It's his own personal holocron. Um, and he says, I want you to bring me, he says this to Kanan and Ezra, he says, I want you to bring me the Sith holocron that you have, because apparently, I think this is new to canon, Jedi and Sith holocrons can actually combine into one holocron. And when you do that, there's a, such a strong connection to the Force is created that you could learn forbidden knowledge. Um, from the force. Now this, I don't remember this ever happening in legends and I'm actually kind of, the way they did it was cool. So this happens. um, Ezra brings the Sith holocron. Maul has the Jedi holocron and they unite. And right before that, Ezra asks Maul, he says, what are you looking for? What, what, what do you, what do you want with these holocrons combined? And, And Maul tells him, I'm looking for hope. Okay. And he, he asks Ezra, he says, I would ask you what you want, but I think I know that you're looking for a way to destroy the Sith. So they unite the holocrons and Ezra gets his wish, basically. He learns that there is a key to destroying the Sith, but it doesn't tell him directly. And this, this was the huge part. I mean, the end of this episode was like a, another jaw-dropping moment. Ezra is, is looking at this and Kanan walks in. He's like, you've got to stop. Nobody's supposed to know this knowledge, right? And you hear Ezra say, the key to destroying the Sith. And then he stops and he goes, twin sons. And then the holocron shuts down, right? Maul gets up. He, he runs out of the room. And he's, he keeps screaming to himself, he lives, he lives, he lives. He gets in the ship and he flies away, right? So Kanan asks Ezra, he's like, what did you see? What did, what did the holocron show you? And Ezra's like, I don't know. I saw a planet with two suns. And then I saw all these other planets that I have no idea about. And apparently somewhere in that is the key to destroying the Sith. And that's where the episode ends, right? So going back to what he saw, Kanan saw Tatooine. I mean, Ezra saw Tatooine. And the key to destroying the Sith is obviously Luke. 
but he didn't see Luke. He just saw the, the planet, right? Right. So Maul running away, saying he lives, he lives, he lives, he knows Obi-Wan is alive. Oh, so, shit. yeah. So I'm thinking that we could see Maul face Obi-Wan in this show at some point. On Tatooine. On Tatooine, yeah. Because you don't leave Tatooine. Oh, God. God. That's crazy. It was then, unbelievable. Wow. That's nuts. And Luke must be what? At this point, Luke is, is, is not too much younger than what we see in episode four. If I'm getting the timeline correctly, because this is close to Rogue One, apparently. So okay. uh, we, we should be, I don't know if we're going to see Luke per se, but I would not be surprised That's if we see Obi and Maul fight. That's exciting, yeah. Um, yeah. A, another thing, Rebels, uh, the, the clip for this week, or for the episode this week that they showed later on, um, Wedge Antilles is going to show up. And he apparently, I, I didn't know about this. Maybe this was something that people knew. I didn't know about this. Wedge was a TIE fighter pilot. What? He, he was a TIE fighter pilot who apparently defects to the rebels. He sends a message to the rebels and says, there's a group of people within the, I, the academy that wish to defect to the rebels. And then you see a young Wedge Antilles and he's like, really like he's talking to Sabine and he's like, I, I didn't sign up for this, what the empire is doing. This, this is, this is so wrong. I don't want to be a part of this. And she's like, well, I've got good news for you. And then I'm guessing oh. that's how they defect to the rebels or that's how he and his team defects to the rebels. That's freaking amazing that it's getting close like that to Star Wars. Yeah. That's exciting. Does yeah. that mean you're going to end soon then, right? I think we might get one more season because I I really do think a lot of these characters have to die. Well, how much more episodes we got left for this season? Oh, this season just started. Okay, we're on we're on episode two, and this, this we've only seen up to the halfway point with this season. How many episodes they put out a year? I think there's twenty two oh, in this wow. season. I don't know if we're getting all twenty. I don't think we're getting all twenty two this year. I think it's going to end right before or shortly before Rogue One. Let's so I think there's enough episodes to take us through this month, next month, and then maybe the beginning of December. So eight episodes, a half hour. Yeah, the the uh, the first episode was an hour. This okay, season. but how many times a week is it aired? Oh, once. It's on Saturday at nine. Oh, or so Saturday it's split, right? It's it's split. It's like twelve episodes this year, or something like. And then next I think week? it's something like that. Yeah, because okay. they they got more episodes because the first season they well, of course they didn't know if it was going to take off. And then it did, and then the second season blew everybody away with the Siege of Lothal, and then the last episode, and now this season, the first episode was good. We got introduced to an, a, a new force being called the Bendu, which is uh, Tom Baker is doing the voice for the Bendu. Wow. And he specifically tells Kanan, he says, oh, there's Jedi, there's Sith, I'm neither. I'm in the middle. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. So it, it's been a good show, and and they're teasing. I like what they're doing. They're teasing because Kanan is blind, um, in the show now because Maul hit him with a lightsaber in the eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, they're teasing that he's going to get a version of his sight back, that is completely based in the Force. What? Because when the when the holocrons were combined, he walks into the room, and there's such a bright light because I guess the Force energy is so strong. He walks in there, and obviously his eyes are shot, so he's not affected by the light. But he takes the mask that he's wearing off his face, and he can see an outline of Ezra and Maul kneeling before the holocrons in, like, a weird black and white force vision. And it looks amazing the way what? that – I was like, this is – if they if they introduce something like force sight or something, that would be cool. That, that would be crazy. Awesome. I wish it was still on uh, Netflix. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Wow. I mean, it's, it's a great show. It's, it really is. I, at first, at, when, it, when it first started, I was like, eh, this isn't really my thing. Um, but, but then as they went on, I was like, okay. Damn. This is That's a good, good show. Anything else Star Wars related? Yeah, there's a couple of things, actually. Um, 
I be, today I heard – I take this with a grain of salt right now, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it's confirmed. In the Star Wars comic, Yoda is going to get his own set of stories uh, for a little while. That I don't know if it's going to be like his origin. I don't think it's his origin. I think it's just sto- – it's definitely stuff that takes place before episode one. Mm. So that's cool. I'm looking forward okay. to that. That is, so then they can talk about Dooku turning and all that stuff, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. If they want to, yeah. See, when you, when you first said it, I thought, oh, God, I don't want to see him as a kid and become a Jedi. You know, I don't, yeah, they, I don't want to know. But then if it's not that and you get to see him training Dooku and him, that I want to see. Yeah. That's you know what's funny? In Legends, there is actually a story of, of young Yoda getting trained. Mm-hmm. There, there. You can see his master and everything. Who was his master? They were saying. I don't remember what his master's name was, but he was like a serpent thing. He was like a, like a, like a. He wasn't like a snake, but he had like a long serpentine body, mm-hmm. and taught Yoda how to use the Force. And I, I was like, oh, that's a wow. weird story. Wow, but it was his, his like was a Jedi, right? His, uh, his, well, his, yeah, his master was a Jedi, yeah, cool. or just a very powerful Force user, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but that's not canon anymore, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, we going to get a trailer for episode eight uh, next year, or? I hope during Star Wars Celebration. Was that July? That's in April, I believe. April, okay. Um, because I, to be honest, I, I don't know if I said it on the show, but I do have a ticket to go to that. Good. No, so yeah, I'm hoping. Huh? I don't think you said that, but yeah. Okay, good. I'm hoping to go. I, it's not confirmed yet. Um, it depends on what I have to do at school and stuff, but I'm hoping my friend and I can go. It's over a weekend, so I don't think school or my internship is going to – Well, that's really good. Lap that, but wow. I'm hoping we get something. It's a lot of exciting stuff with Star Wars, man. Especially, I can't wait for Rogue One. Anything on Rogue One you got or no? Uh – Nothing new that I really know about. I know that all the merchandise is available. Okay. Um, but other than that, I haven't really, uh, I haven't heard any news that's like worth. It's just a lot of speculation. Um, but okay. other than that, other uh, picture, what's that? I just sent you a picture. That's Yoda's master from the old canon. Okay, I'm gonna look at it when we end the show. Sure. Um, all right, so we're gonna keep this Star Wars related. So we're gonna go into another everything show. So Mm -hmm. take care. Bye for now.